gosh, I make that look easy, don't I? I don't actually have my tripod today, so I have this camera like perched very precariously. I'm kind of a little worried it's gonna fall. Um, today, I am selecting a few lamps that Andrew is going to take over to the shop because the plan is to list some of the unshippable lamps on either Facebook Marketplace or eBay local pickup only. I haven't decided yet. I'm a little worried to do eBay local pickup only because I think we have like 12,000 followers on eBay. And I'm very concerned that if we, we aren't specific enough that it's only local pickup, that we'll have people bidding from all over the place and it might just throw things off. So eh, I'm kind of just still trying to decide how I want to go about doing that. But we are up here to select some lamps. So I've got way too many lamps. <laughs> We're probably gonna just pick two or three right now and then I'm really gonna have to just look at them a little bit more closely to decide which lamps are shippable and which ones need to be sold off separately. So the ones that are shippable are skinny, um, short, and not too heavy. Those are the shippable ones. The ones that are not shippable are fat, heavy, and tall that's usually not a good combination for shipping because it it tends to be expensive and although i charge my buyers that expense um a, a fat tall a heavy lamp can be upwards of 65 dollars to ship so it really has to be something spectacular to make it worth shipping and here at the house we really don't have anything spectacular worth shipping for $65 plus. Um, I really haven't, I, I, I mean, I don't have anything right now. If I did, I would be selling it. Um, so we are going to pick through. Walter just snuck up the stairs into his room and he was trying to be very quiet. <laughs> All right, so let's pick a few lamps to send with Andrew over to the shop. Um, and then I'm gonna get back with you guys in a little bit. I actually have some other stuff I have to do before I come back up here to uh, get moving on more lamps. But I figured we'd film a little bit. By the way, <laughs> I mean, this is really an awkward angle. I'm really seriously too tall for this. Okay, here we go. Boom, okay, so last night I was up here and I was kind of digging through them anyway. And one of the lamps that I pulled out was this one. I'm absolutely in love with this lamp. The issue with shipping this lamp is not that it's too tall, it's feasible. Uh, however, it is super, super heavy. Now, whether or not this is a shippable lamp or not would depend largely on this signature down here. There is a signature and I think I tried looking it up if that signature is a designer, it might be worth the cost of shipping this lamp. I mean, somebody in California could say, I have to have that lamp because it's by that designer. And it might be worth the shipping. But if that's just a nobody, then, you know. But I just thought this lamp was really something special. So um, it might go on Facebook Marketplace. It might go on eBay shippable, depending on... That signature right there but I think I'm gonna send it over to the shop with Andrew anyway and we will ultimately decide over there um, another lamp that we have to send with Andrew is over here there's actually two I think I mean he doesn't really have a whole lot of room in his Camaro and we've got this one with our little uh, stink bug hitchhiker they're everywhere goodness gracious it's warming up so they're starting to come out and move around I hate those things. I'm not even gonna touch the lamp until it's gone. Um, but I think this one, see it's fat on the bottom and it is heavy. So this might be a candidate for Facebook Marketplace. And this one, when I first found this and it was years and years ago before I was doing Crazy Lamp Lady, I was obsessed with this lamp and it is signed somewhere. Somewhere down on the bottom, I think. Um, it is signed, but I was just like obsessed with this because it has these 
wheat shafts that are burnt into the design. And I just thought, you know what? This has to be something. It has to be. Uh, I was never able to, to figure anything out about it. The signature was way too hard to read. But it's just a really interesting and unique lamp, I thought. So I bought it. And I think I paid like 40 bucks for it. But it's it's seriously, it's probably 12 pounds. And it's fat. So it's heavy and it's fat. And I don't think it's something that we could ship. I mean, we could, but the possibility of breakage is way too high. Um, even with really good packing. Especially at a time right now where everything's being run through the post office. And they're being overworked and they're probably tired. And I just, I don't want to risk it. So... Yeah, Facebook Marketplace for this one, for this one, and goodness gracious, possibly this one. Oh, goodness. And over here, I got to figure out something to do with these. I actually bought these from Paul over at Bedford Street Antiques. I have two of them. I say these. I know you're only seeing a single. The other one, some of you had noticed hiding under the rug over there, they're matching. Uh, and what's really cool about these particular pieces are that they were originally chandeliers. However, somebody had the most brilliant idea to turn them into very bougie sconces. I say that because like, I've never seen a sconce this elaborate and amazing. But what they did, and you can see here, this is why I bought them because I just thought they were unique and they were super cool is they actually took off one of the arms there would have been an arm here and then they made this like curled they I don't know if they actually curled this or they found a piece but they curled it and this is the original um, canopy and they made it so that you could actually stick it to the wall and it is a sconce isn't that neat and actually, as a fun fact, <laughs> before we did, before we decided on the shop that we currently have, we were kind of keeping it hush hush. But we had been looking at an old crematorium. Like that was, we were really excited about that. It ended up falling through. But I thought that if we actually moved into the old crematorium for our business, it would be so cool to have these sconces like at both ends of the checkout. These really elaborate, ornate sconces. Uh, but for what we have now. It really just doesn't jive. So I will probably end up selling those. Um, I, I think I paid 90 a piece for those. I paid good money for those because I'd never seen them before and I thought they were pretty cool. Um, if they were still chandeliers, they'd sell for probably, I wanna say 120, possibly more because of their condition, because they need to be rewired. And because they're missing these, that's why I'm saying 120. If they were completely re redone and they were ready to use, I mean, you're talking probably 300 to 400 dollars. But I just thought they were unique and really cool, so I've got a pair of them. They're really cool. Um, but anyway, let's see what else we've got over here. I've got some in the closet. You guys really haven't seen inside my closet. Oh boy, here we go. Boom. Oh boy. Now these I'm not selling. I don't know if you guys remember when I picked these up. I have plans for these guys, so I'm not selling those. This, I believe, is a Hager lamp. I think this might be the Mongolian, but I've never found any pictures of him. He's just mentioned in the Hager book, so I'm not sure if that is is the Mongolian lamp that they mentioned in the book or not. But I collect Royal Hager lamps, which you guys will see in my house store that will be coming soon. Like, eventually soon. Um, this one, unfortunately, the shade got crushed, which is why it's just sitting in here. But I love the chartreuse on that lamp. And then we've got these guys, which are going to have to be Facebook Marketplace. I think, but they are cordy. Uh, I don't. Rem I don't know if you guys remember me talking about these, but it was really at the beginning of Crazy Lamp Lady, and I bought these. Well, when I first saw them, I assumed that they were German, 
uh, but I took them all apart and on the base they actually are made by Cordy which is not like the finest porcelain uh, we've talked about Cordy a million times before it's actually 1930s 1940s it's not antique but they're a matching pair it's a man and a woman and they've got the lace and they've got the flowers and they're just phenomenal and I've got them stashed here and I need to do something with them either that or give them back to George to do something with uh, they're, they're not making any money sitting in my closet that's for sure so those are gonna go on Facebook marketplace I'm not gonna send them with Andrew today because they really need to be packed to even move because the lace is so fragile I'll have to wrap them in some bubble wrap and make sure that they are ready to go up there on the shelf you guys can kind of see up there I've got a selection of little boudoir lamps ceramic boudoir lamps I've got two little blue ones a pink one a green one and a black one those I can actually sell on eBay and I should probably get to that because why not right it's like every single color I need to get those listed all right so what else um, these obviously can go on uh, those can go on eBay this guy can go on eBay because he's tall and skinny I believe this is house h-o-u-z-e house glass it does glow I remember testing it um, but it's tall and skinny it is a little heavy because it has this cast iron base uh, but I think that one would be worth it and it's been rewired so that's fantastic I don't have to mess with it over here <laughs> this guy has a fun story this lamp right here uh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this lamp but this is a Royal Hager lamp like I said I do collect Royal Hager lamps that's why I have this one um, it just hasn't been rotated in my decor yet uh, this is Royal Hager this is the pine cone lamp let me move it so you guys can see it better ta-da and you can see that matching finial there, which is a huge clue to it actually being Royal Hager. Now it's kind of funny. This comes with a funny story. And I will set you guys down to tell you my funny story. Boom. Oh look, Andrew's here for my funny story. So that Royal Hager lamp right there, the pine cone one, when I bought it, there was actually a pair of them listed on eBay. And I was looking everywhere to try to figure out like who makes this lamp. Is it Royal Hager? And I found the pair listed and the lady wanted like, I think $600 for them. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And she had them listed as like Italian. Um, I forget what she called them. It was something like Italian. And I contacted her because I had this suspicion that the, it was a Royal Hager lamp. And I'm like, are you sure that these, the, that this is Italian? Just because I wanted to know for myself, like, are you positive about this? Because maybe I have it wrong. And I contacted her and she's like, oh yes, I had these appraised by a professional appraiser and they told me that they were Italian. And I was like, oh, okay. And then of course I got the Hager book after that and sure enough. They're in there. It's in there. <laughs> so I'm like, oh man, I, uh, I hope that lady doesn't get any more appra <laughs> appraising services from that appraiser because they don't know what they're talking about. Hager is, you know, there's a book on that. Yeah. You know, it's kind of yeah. like one of the more common potteries. I feel like that should be easy, you know. Um, but here's Andrew. He's here to cart off some items. Cart off some the lamps. Room. I picked out three for you to take today. I figure. Good, because that's what I got. Yeah, for. I figure we could do little by little and uh, go from there. Well, I've got the bridge lamp that was downstairs in the car. Okay. I've got the other pile that was by the front door in the car. I've got the, the saddle. saddle yeah. We're gonna move that over to the shop. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to change some things up and get some things out of here and where they need out. to go. Yeah. All right. I'm cool with that. Well, I got this one right here. Um, I picked like the heavy lamps that are going to be too hard to ship. I figured yeah. we can list those on Facebook marketplace. And then there are several lamps that we could probably list on eBay. It's a shame that pine cone lamp has a crack in it though. It does not. Stop. <laughs> All right, so. All right. Ooh, is that an alicite finial? Yes, but do you remember we tested that one with the black light? Here, let me grab you. 
show you. Boom. So we got this together, I think. Or at least we tested it together. We did a whole video together and we tested it with black light. And this is uh, post World War, but it is Aladdin. So it's the post formula, which means that it does not glow under black light. Gotcha. That's how you can date these Aladdin lamps is um, pre-war. They were using the uranium. And so pre-war, they would glow. And post-war, they had to reinvent no their glow. formula. And there's no glow. Exactly. So this no is actually... for you. It's still a really nice lamp, but it's not going to glow black light. So, yeah. All right, let me stand up. Oh, make this look easy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hand you this stink bug lamp. I love this one. Those red globe ones with the crystals. Thing, yeah. They sent a message and shown interest in those. I don't I know. I think those are eBay ones, right? Yeah, I think so too. I think those can go on eBay. Those are mantle lusters. Um, they're not going to be cheap to ship though. No, they're so not. A really big box. Yeah, they are mantle lusters. Uh, there is chipping around the rim. They may have to even ship the shades separate. I yeah. Kind of bulky. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, once you take this off. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to ship them. Yeah. Yeah, with all those crystals. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, local pickup. They do have to be rewired. Goodwill snipped the cord, probably because they didn't want any lawsuits in case somebody tried to plug them in. Yeah. They are really pretty, though. That's they are. I like them. I'm just afraid to ship them just because the, the, the are going to yeah. be fragile and the, everything else. And these are glass, so if they clink together in shipping, they are going to break and yeah, they are going to chip. Each one has to be individually wrapped. wrapped. Yeah. Time consuming, not cost effective. Yep. And that's what we're looking at right now, is what lamps can't be shipped. Yeah, those cannot be shipped. Yeah. I'm sorry. I gotta put a nix on that. <laughs> Somebody's gonna really hate my guts. This guy? <laughs> no. I love that lamp, but... Actually, you know what? I mean, honestly... It weighs like 20 pounds. Yeah, okay. If it's yeah. Heavy, yeah no. That's why. I mean, shape if it... Shape-wise, that harp comes off. Yeah. And that would be a larger box, but it would be easy, easy to ship. But if it's, no, no, I, I can do, you don't even have to bring it over here. I want you to hold it because I want to see the signature. I know there's a signature on it. There's a signature? Yeah, can you tip it? It's on the base. Yeah. Uh, Stepping on stuff. Yeah, see that? There is a signature on it. Yoma? Yarna? Yarna? I spent so long trying to research this lamp because I thought it was such a unique design and I could not find anything on it. Yova? Yova? Yava? It's really neat though. I love the way that they burnt the wheat into it. And you know what they probably did is put it in the kiln with this was like twine or something wrapped around to hold it yeah. tight. And then it burnt off probably in the firing Ooh. process. Yeah. I think it's really neat. I think it's pretty killer. I think I paid 40 bucks for that. That was a long time ago. I think that's pretty unique. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely why I bought not it. a shippable. No. <laughs> way too heavy. Nope. That would cost way too much to ship. Yeah. I'm not so. gonna. So is this a go to the shop? That's a go to the shop lamp. And the last one I have for you today is this guy. You're gonna have to bring one down. I can do that. Just cradle it like a baby and don't let the stink bug get you. <laughs> I can bring one down. You can bring one down? Alright, cool. Here, Walter. Oh, you got one? No, no. Alright. I'm gonna set this right here and finish my video. Thank you, sir. It's very kind of you. So, there you have it. We are slowly pulling the lamps out of here now. That is a very good sign because I felt like the lamps were probably gonna be the last thing to go. Ooh, I'm making progress. Um, I am gonna come up here a little later and maybe film a video getting more of the small stuff out, um, packing more boxes, making some room. <sighs> we're gonna get this all cleaned out. My goal is to actually get this chair out of here. That's like my ultimate goal. If I can get that out, I'll feel like I accomplished something. If I can get this whole room cleaned out, then I'll really feel like I accomplished something, but we're, it's gonna be a slow process.
it's okay though we have the time we really do we have lots of time so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was kind of different but uh we're looking for different kind of stuff and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my lamps i have a lot of them when i do my home tour you will be able to see some of my favorite lamps that i used to decorate with um and like i said it's, it's not gonna be like a full home tour but we'll do the downstairs and i'll show you some of my favorite things and then i'll be probably in the next week or two anyway i will see you guys later bye my family calls it my superpower it's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook <laughs>